Hello, my name is Tomasz Poszetek and in this video I would like to talk about a little to talk about uh, the metadata approvals that is visible in Teams as well as how you can automatically update uh, the approval requests, so the tasks, that you'll be able then to um, see how your approval is progressing inside of Microsoft Teams. All right, so having that said, let's get into it. Basically, when you're assigning or when you're creating a new approval process directly from Microsoft Teams, you're able to define uh, metadata that is not really available for you to be defined when you're doing the same thing from Power Automate. Um, the first thing is that you're able to use stages, right? So we can create stages uh, and then in each stage, you're able to add a specific uh, approvers. That is not yet visible in Power Automate, although I heard that this is as well coming into the action that is assigning a task within the Power Automate Cloudflows too. I will be not focusing on that. If you're interested in this specific case of how to create stages so that after one stage is completed, uh, it only proceeds to another stage, to the, pro to the approvers who are in another stage, please let me know in comments. I'll try to prepare a video about that. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the priority. So here, when you're trying and when you're creating an approval within Microsoft Teams, you're able to set the priority. Now, the priority uh, is then visible as this exclamation mark uh, on the approvals page. Also, when you're creating an approval uh, within Microsoft Teams, you can see it has this fancy icon and a source filled in, which is as well not, not feasible to achieve from Power Automate flows. However, since this is all the textual data, you are able to do that. One remark here is that we are able to set the source, although this um, icon here that you can see is only reserved if the string is approvals. So if you set the source to anything other than approvals, unfortunately, the icon cannot be um, displayed or it won't be displayed. However, you are able to display your own custom icon. I'll just show you that in a second how to do that. All right, so let's let's go and see the flow. Um, right here, I mean a very well-known process that is simply assigning lots of tasks. And in here, you are able to set some uh, metadata as well, right? So you're able to define what is the approval type, its title, to whom it is assigned to. So let's say it will be assigned to John uh, Researcher and as well myself. Let's say its details is the same as it works. I'll just change the um, the title to to this one. You're able to set item link and a description, the requester, and two very much, very 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 much important um, settings are the enable notifications, which when set to yes will send emails and notifications over Microsoft Teams, and enable reassignment that if set to yes will allow the uh, current assignee to reassign the task to someone else. But you can't set here the source, you can't set here the, um, the purity uh, and other metadata that you can find as you navigate to approvals table, right? Because in here you have much more, uh, not only the, the things that you are seeing through the interface, like one of them uh, is a due on, which um, well, I don't know if it's even being used or it expires on. So these, these properties are not used, I think, in the approval process and are not supported. Um, also, there is this partner hash, partner metadata, no idea. The request type you can set from, uh, from choose from four. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and there is tags as well, which honestly speaking, I have no idea uh, what is their purpose. The template form and everything around templates is used for um, mapping the approval with the corresponding Microsoft Forms uh, form that is used within Microsoft Teams as the so-called template. So we can use one of the templates that you can that you can uh, have in approvals in Microsoft Teams, although you can't uh, use them again directly from Microsoft Power Automate. All right, so. This will now create the approval. So after the approval is created, and I know it's good, I'll now be able to use the Microsoft Dataverse section to update the row. 
um, and I'll update the row in power in sorry in approvals. So there it is. Oh come on, approvals. The row ID. I'll just use the one that is returned here. All right, uh, and with that, I don't actually need to update any metadata because nothing is really required apart from uh, apart from row ID. But here I can scroll down, and I can set the due on and expires on, even if it doesn't work, or maybe it works. If you if you have tried it, if you have used it, and you've seen that the approval, for example, expires on that specific date and the flow is resumed, please let me know. I haven't checked it. What I want to focus on is the priority. So even though we have many priorities, the only two which are supported by Microsoft Teams application is important and medium. Note that if you choose low or urgent, you may um, see a message that the approvals is damaged, that there is some kind of an error. So just be sure that you're using either medium or important. I'll choose important, so to see the exclamation mark. And the second thing is the request type. You can see that uh, there are four options. The templates is obviously reserved for the templates type. The basic is just a regular approval. The e sign is the one that is um, used using the either the sign or the sign. Other, no idea. I also haven't uh, seen any difference in approvals behavior depending on which uh, which request type is selected. And then there is source. And for source, you can type just any text. So I can say. Uh, and then finish it whatever with the with the emoticon as well. Now then there is uh, there is tags which uh, as you can see in the description is a semicolon delimited list of user defined strings to help filter and search approvals. Um, I don't know why this feature is being used because here under the filter you're only able to uh, use the requested or custom and then the the search is uh, using the title so not uh, the tags. Maybe this is a feature that is, you know, coming in the future that you that will allow you to uh, use more columns or to display more columns here and then to use them for approvals. Because as of now, um, if you have really, really many approvals on this list here, um, it's somehow difficult to, to understand what you're trying or, or what you actually need to do. So you can easily get lost. Okay, so um, status is going to be set at the end, and then the template, uh, all these fields related to template uh, ID, form ID, response ID, this is all related to the templated approvals that you can set in Microsoft uh, Teams. Okay, so having that um, field, I'll now save it and, and test so that you will see how these two metadata that I can actually update here will be uh, looking at and the approval in Microsoft Teams. So as you can imagine, they are not actually anyhow reflected um, on the approvals table. I mean, uh, in the approvals uh, in Power Automate. So if I now refresh it, here the approvals view in Power Automate. So one of the, the tasks were assigned to general researcher. As you can see, there is like nothing apart from the request title and the details. And if I open it, it's not anything else. There is not, not, not much more in, the, in here. However, if I switch Microsoft Teams into Microsoft Teams and then to John's prot environment where the task was assigned, then what I see is that there is the set of raw metadata with exclamation marks so the priority was set correctly. And as a source, I have my lovely, oh, I've made a mistake. Anyhow, uh, with the lovely approval with the emoticons, but just not one thing, what I dislike is that the approvals icon, so if you use approvals as a source, it is totally aligned to the left edge of the source header string, right? Now, meanwhile, if you use your own custom uh, source, it is not really aligned in the same, in the same line. So this is something in UI that possibly Microsoft should work on. However, this way you are able to see uh, some custom information. And now when I open it, what I see is that um, 
the task is now waiting for two two responses. Now you know that I have already created and I showcased uh, those workflows which are able to uh, complete a specific approval um, or to like to complete a specific task or to even complete the whole approval. However, I recently realized that actually um, I was doing that wrong. So by completing a task in approval, I was setting um, its status um, first in approval request table to inactive and then in approval response table the record I have been creating uh, has had its status um, its stage set to uh, complete. Now this is wrong so things that you have to remember when you're trying to complete a specific task in an approval process um, that you must follow like two things. First you don't have to you don't have to set the approval request item as inactive so this action you can simply get rid of i set it as inactive because i still want to have it because um, for some backwards compatibility anyhow uh, i just make it inactive so it's not being executed and then stage for the newly created response approval response record has to be set to basic otherwise um, the fact that it has been created is not going to be reflected um, in Microsoft Teams in Microsoft Teams um, um, approval view. I mean, this this details view. Okay, so now um, I'll go to this to this uh, running instance just to grab the uh, flow ID, the approval ID. And then I'll just show you that right now, if I save and test it, and for example, complete John's task, uh, John, then actually his task is now going to be visible here as completed, right? So John's is now marked as approved. I see when it was approved, when it has completed. Um, now, another thing I was trying to test is that if by setting the stage to uh, basic and disabling these uh, changes within the uh, approval request table would it be possible that somehow magically after completing all the tasks in approval process it will be still automatically completed but no my tests prove that unfortunately this way if i now complete a second task which is assigned to myself then unfortunately the whole approval item is still going to be in the pending stage and there is nothing going to be resumed like nothing is going to change within the data versus data so the only thing that you can do is like complete every single task which is being assigned to every assignee in the process but then when the last remaining task is there then please ask their assignee to complete that task manually because this is the only way to actually have the whole approval process completed. So now, if myself, if me, uh, as the last approver, I complete my task, then the whole approval process is going to be actually completed successfully uh, with the status changed and as well with flow flow that was pending, uh, that was pending, and then it is resumed, right? So, so this is uh, the only way that you can actually achieve that. Um, all right, so that is actually everything I wanted to share with you around my latest finding, findings, uh, findings, sorry, uh, within the Microsoft Teams um, approvals application. So like how to set the priority, how to set source, and how to make all these single stages, I'm sorry, single, single steps visible uh, if they are being approved as the process is um, is running. 
Um, if you are interested in learning more around stages, so like how to use stages and how to simulate the same behavior uh, as you can um, achieve from UI in Microsoft Teams, but in Power Automate, then please let me know in comments below uh, and I'll just record a video for you. As of now, that's all. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like the, the video, thumbs up, like it and write down any comments, any feedback. I really appreciate every information from you. And well, until the next time, bye bye.